Alright, uh, back after, uh, I don't know, about a week or so. Uh, yeah, we got uh, busy, uh, I don't know, some stuff came up there suddenly, and then it was uh, Christmas and everything, so I was busy with other stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, so I don't exactly remember what I'm uh, doing. Oh. I really don't need uh, that many of those. I should start using them, I guess. Uh, kill him. How do I play? There's a time button press for the uh, Thunderbolt there. Well, that's uh, pretty strong, actually. He does seem to get kind of killed often, maybe some HP or defense would be good. Uh, I don't know, I'll keep going with that. He just pops out again. There's another mushroom. Uh, might as well, uh, Oh, right, because he leveled, he's uh, healed. fighting one of these. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. Oh, wow, that uh, hit pretty hard. So that... Yeah, he, uh... Mallow must get, like, a weapon or something eventually, because, uh, I don't know, he's, like, just doing nothing, basically. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, yeah, I was talking about, uh, La Mulana, uh, before, uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it was, the. Uh, I didn't talk too much about it, but, uh, yeah, I didn't play that this year, I think it was, uh, last year. Uh, I beat La Mulana 2, and then I think the year before that I beat uh, La Mulana 1. Oh, what do we do here? Uh, I guess I just gotta search all these.
Oh, but yeah, the, uh... Gonna be able to even hit these guys. Okay, I thought maybe it would just slide along the ground and not do anything, but, uh... uh he might as well just defend. He's not gonna do anything. I don't want him burning all our flower points. Uh, and his uh, physical attack doesn't really do anything. Uh, but yeah, I really liked both uh, Long Milana 1 and 2. Uh, like I said, uh, 1 is quite cryptic. I wasn't able to beat it without a guide. Uh, I think I got like halfway through and then uh, just had no idea what to do and had to like look some stuff up. Uh, two, I only had to look up. I think there was one thing. There was like one or two spots that I had to look up. Uh, okay, it's the same spot. And uh, I think one of those spots was because of the uh, like translation error. So two is definitely uh, easier. But yeah, they're both uh, really good. If you like uh, Zelda One or uh, Dark Souls or anything where it's kind of like you know here you're on your own, go figure stuff out, all that, uh, they're pretty good. I think I'll, I'll, you know, I'll probably talk about them more sometime if I ever do like a I don't know a Zelda game. Actually, I, I do want to do a, a Zelda game sometime. Uh, I did kind of start doing a playthrough of a, a Zelda 1 randomizer. Uh, problem is, I don't know Zelda 1 well enough. Like, it is one of my favorite games, but I like it because of the exploration. And, uh, uh, and so I don't play it that often. Uh, and so it's a bit more difficult to, like, do a let's play of it, uh, when I don't know exactly where everything is, and you've gotta, like, uh, you know, keep paying attention and figuring stuff out. So there ends up being, uh, I don't know, just long breaks of silence as I try and figure out what's happening, and, you know, make maps and notes and stuff. Uh, but I would want, I do want to, uh, do, like, a Zelda game or something, uh, sometime. This must be a boss. I don't know, continuing on with the games that I beat this year, or played, uh... I... I missed it when I was, uh, going through, like, the PlayStation games, uh, but, uh... I did start playing, uh... uh Fantasy Star Nova on the PS Vita. Uh, it's a Japan-exclusive game, but, uh... I don't know, I haven't been having too much trouble with the language anyways, uh... And I, I have been uh, recording it, uh, but I haven't, uh, you know, I've got probably 10 or 15 hours so far, but 
I was just having trouble with like how exactly I should edit it or whatever because there was parts early on in it where I didn't know uh, you know should I be you know reading and translating the stuff as it goes or just leave it and put in subtitles in editing or whatever uh, I think I ended up deciding I was just gonna just read it all and kind of do like a partial translation as I go uh, it's a bit difficult and it does it gets tiring, so I only end up playing for like an hour or two at a time, and then taking a few days uh, break. But uh, I think in the end that'll be easier, uh, less work than uh, editing it all in post. But uh, uh, it does, I didn't really kind of settle on that until you know a couple hours in. So the first few hours are a bit uh, messy, and so I. I don't know, I've just been trying to figure out how to edit that. Uh, uh, and then I've got, I don't know, something is wrong with uh, DaVinci Resolve. I can't... Uh, you're supposed to be able to do this thing where you go in and you can just talk and you know, add audio right into the timeline or whatever. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be working. I can't get it to do that. So anytime I want to kind of near add some like post narration stuff, uh, I have to go into like Audacity, record it there, uh, export it, uh, import it into Resolve, and then uh, you know put it in the right spot. And, and of course, I can't. It's hard to like watch the video and time it then or whatever. So. It's been a bit unwieldy, but once I get through the first, uh, you know, editing the first couple hours, uh, then it should get smooth. So I haven't, uh, I haven't, like, uploaded anything yet. Uh, and I haven't beat the game yet, but, uh, uh hopefully I will. I don't know, well, I guess not before the end of the year, but, uh, early next year sometime. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, I don't like it as much as, uh, okay, uh, uh, yeah, I don't like it as much as, like, Fantasy Star Online, uh, on the GameCube. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's okay, anyways. It's, it's hard to tell exactly when those guys you know, when's the time to do the attack uh, block thing. So, you know, there's not really a clear, like, this is when they're hitting you kind of thing. Wow, he killed something. So just going on from that, uh, uh, so I've got uh, SNES games next on my list that I beat. Uh, Alright, first one is uh, Skyblazer. Uh, I think I saw this on a James and Mike plays on the AV AVGN's channel. Uh, I think that's where I first kind of really saw it and decided, okay, this looks good, I can, uh, I'll play through this. Uh, it's a, well, yeah, Super Nintendo uh, platformer. Uh, it's pretty good and it's uh, it's not terribly difficult. Uh, I never got to game over. I, uh, you, there's plenty of spots where you can farm lives and stuff and uh, yeah, so it's yeah, you know, it's pretty easy to beat. Uh, it's it was only a couple hours long too. Uh, uh, 
But yeah, it's not it's not really just a platformer. There's a bit of kind of like action kind of fighting stuff. Like you've got you know punches and different uh, special attacks and stuff you can do. So it's not just like a Mario style game. This these woods uh, this really reminds me of uh, uh, I think it's Majora's Mask where you go into the lost woods that are you know just like that and uh, you get the mushroom for the witch. Uh, anyways, yeah, Sky Blazer was good. You know, if you're looking for a you know fairly quick kind of easy fun platformer. Uh, yeah, it's uh, good. Uh, after that was uh, Brain Lord. Uh, okay, uh, Gino was. I was following Gino in all these, but uh, I don't see him, so I'll just guess. So, uh, Brain Lord was good. Uh, it's... It reminds me kind of of, like, Soul Blazer. It's a... Or, you know, some of the other uh, quintet uh, RPGs. It's a top-down uh, SNES action RPG. Uh, it's, it's a bit more uh, puzzle-heavy. There's, uh, you know, like, uh, block puzzles and stuff like that. Uh, it's also not terribly long. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's got the RPG elements. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, okay. okay. Maybe I go back? No, this is uh, back at the beginning. supposed to know to go right there. Uh... Oh, what is Gino going to come in and... Oh no, it's a... Before he came on screen, the first text, uh, I read it as Bowser, uh, and I was wondering, okay, why is Bowser shooting arrows and stuff? Thank <laughs> you. 
We get to the fight soon. So, okay. What's he got? Uh, uh okay. I gotta release it once it's three stars. to practice that one later on like the uh, regular enemies. So I don't know if I'm doing that right. Uh, I'm gonna use this just to see how much HP he's got. Okay, 534. Okay, so uh, Geno is useless now. Alright, he 
must be around uh, 200 or so. Uh, I don't know why that very first boss was so difficult and all the other ones have been uh, much easier. Okay, so that's what those are. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Looks like the strongest out of all the dolls, and the other ones were uh, Mario in them. So I forget, this is the second star piece I've gotten. Or the first one. I don't remember if I got any. Uh, I thought I got one at least. Yeah, okay, so it's the second. Uh, no, they don't, they don't give me anything though. They're not like in the uh, Paper Mario games. Okay, I guess I want to head to Moleville. I'll stop back in the town though. Uh, yield. Yeah. Right. Go there. Check the item shop. Okay. 
Oh, I got weapons for him. Weapon. He's looking at that. Check if there's anything for uh, Gino. Uh, nope. Yeah, maybe there's somebody who gives me something for uh, saving them, but uh, I'll just head on to Mobile, I guess. I don't. Maybe I missed it in the last cutscene. I don't know. I didn't see any reason why we'd be going here, but uh, oh well. Okay, there's, uh, good. Uh. Hmm, okay, uh, there's only one armor slot, so I don't know if this is just worse. both of those just to see wait the okay the work pants are better do some damage now. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't get why the work work pants are uh, better than the other ones. Uh so I'll get these two just to check, but uh Yes, uh I don't know, it's a bit confusing. Uh so that goes up to forty and twenty-six. This Okay, it's got worse magic defense than the uh, Mega Shirt, but it's... Okay, worse defense and magic defense, but it increases attack. Uh... Uh, well, at least if everyone can equip it, uh, I can uh, 
uh, probably equip it on to where I get next. Okay, so it for Geno's, uh, it's all around better than Geno's Mega Cape. 